Okay guys, in this episode we're going to show you how to install Repetier Host on your PC. First thing to do is go ahead and jump on your computer and go to repetier.com. A little slow today, but uh, once you get to there, this is his uh, landing page. You can go through and check it out. Um, you're going to want to click on download and choose the version. We're going to go with Windows 0.8.0. Save the file and just tell it where to save. Pretty good size file, so alrighty, we're done with that, so we can go ahead and shut it down. Now we're gonna go find our installer and we're gonna go ahead and run it. Um, you can Pretty self-explanatory here, except the license agreement. Um, you can modify where you want it to go. I always like putting the version after the name, uh, just because there's so many new versions coming out. Create a desktop icon is a good idea. You can go through and install. It installs fairly quickly. The nice thing is it also drops in a slicer for generating the G-code. Just about done here. No. Looks like it uh, takes a little longer as it gets closer to the end of the list here. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and shut that down and get ready to open up Repetier Host. No. Launch Repetier Host now, sounds good. Any minute now. We're going to go ahead and double click on Rip to your host and open it up. Oh, I opened up two instances, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it up to full screen and we'll, we'll go a little more in depth with Rip to your host here, but you can resize your windows to get your printer's view area, right? Um, so the first thing we need to do is specify, if you're setting it up before the new Rostock Max, some things like, um, you, we can see that dot there is in the lower left corner, that represents the origin, and our origin is in the center of the bed, as well as the dimensions of our print area. And to do that, we'll go up to Configure, drop down to Printer Settings, and printer name, we're going to enter Rostock Max. And printer tab, travel feed rate, uh, it's probably, th this feed rate has to do with when you're manually jogging the machine. So I like 2500 and, and 1200. We'll start off with that. In this window, you can always modify your printer settings, so like your default extruder and heated bed temps. Um, check the extruder and bed temperature, obviously you want to do that. The M105 from log, that's not a bad idea to go ahead and shut that off. Uh, go to park position after job kill. Yeah, we don't have a park position. Disable the extruder after the job, that means turn off the hot end. Um, disable heated bed after the job, that means shut the heated bed off. Those are good things to do. Uh, so we're going to just click on apply, and then we'll go over to printer shape. Printer area width, we're going to just put in 250 by 250 by 350 for a good starting point. Over here are X, Y, and Z. Um, the only thing we really need to do is max. And the rest we're going to set to zeros. Home X is at zero. Home Y is at zero. Home Z is max. So our X minimum, if we're 250 across X and Y, our minimum would be negative 125. 
and our max would be 125. The left edge of our bed would be negative 125. I hope that makes sense. And our y min would be negative 125. Max would be 125. And our bed front would be negative 125. Click on apply. And when we click OK, you can see, bam, the size and shape of the printer get big in a hurry. That is welcome to the Rostock Max. Um, we can also scroll in here and we can see our dot that represents our origin is now in the center. And that's what we need. All right, that is how to set up Repetier Host for the Rostock Max. Thank you.